We can, as this is our final show of 2021, we thought we'd check in on the event that started all of it. The January 6th insurrection. That's right. This year started with that and, against all better judgment, kept going. <laughs> and while the human cause of the riots is still very much stonewalling investigators, this week saw developments regarding some of its rank-and-file participants. A Capitol riot suspect on the FBI's most wanted list has turned up now in Belarus. The fugitive's name is Evan Newman. He's from California. Here he is during an interview with state media in Belarus. Newman claims he's innocent and a victim of political persecution. Oh, great idea, Evan. You're worried about political persecution, so you go to Belarus, a country run by a man who calls himself the last and only dictator in Europe. You can read all about their free-flowing exchange of ideas in any of Belarus's publications, like Redacted magazine and All Praise Our Glorious Leader Who Isn't Bald Quarterly. Now, other participants in the insurrection have been facing consequences. The QAnon shaman, a name I still cannot believe I have to say out loud, is awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty. And then there is Jenna Ryan, a Texas real estate agent who entered the Capitol and later got attention for tweeting, definitely not going to jail, sorry I have blonde hair, white skin, a great job, a great future, and I'm not going to jail. Which is, on one hand, a dangerously brazen tweet, but on the other, a pretty great Real Housewives catchphrase. <laughs> Blonde hair, white skin, and I'm not going to jail? She's the new Erica Jane, and I don't say that lightly. But to be fair, Jenna Ryan was right. She's not going to jail because she's actually going to prison. <laughs> Earlier this month, she was sentenced to 60 days behind bars, and this week sat down with local news to make it absolutely clear she's learned nothing from this. Ryan flew with friends on a private plane to the Stop the Steal rally in D.C. before going back to her hotel. But while watching news coverage, she decided to go back and posted a video saying she was going to storm the Capitol. So I was just like, we're storming the Capitol. And I meant we're storming with our words and our... <laughs> we're going down there to tell them, you know, and, you know, it's free speech. You know what? We are armed and dangerous. This is the beginning. What are you talking about, you Marjorie Taylor Wannagreen? Storming with words? That's not a thing. That's never been a thing. If you look up thing in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure it says not storming with words. <laughs> Jenna also outlined how she's preparing for her 60-day sentence, which is, if nothing else, on brand. It's all you can think about. I'm watching all the YouTube videos on how prison is, how to go to prison, what to do. All right, I don't know what's weirder there, but she seems so casual, or that an adult has to go to YouTube to learn how prison is. I'll tell you, it's bad, Jenna, really bad. Also, that is not what YouTube should be used for. YouTube is for watching two-minute movie trailers, 40-minute explainer videos pointing out all the Easter eggs you missed in that trailer, and TikTok compilations because you're too old to learn TikTok but too desperate to let it pass you by completely. <laughs> that is what YouTube is for. That and, of course, destroying the world by melting people's brains with utter nonsense. Speaking of which, in the least surprising move imaginable, Jenna Ryan launched a podcast on her YouTube channel this week. Here is a clip from Monday's first episode. I want you to be able to come to my channel and listen to what I have to say and be well caught up on alternative news. I just made that up. That's what I want. We're in hell. 